Wow, guys, super excited today. It's great to see you guys again. Uh, I got two awesome sets. My friends from Boneyard Pets went ahead and sent me these two sets to show you guys. Uh, this one is Libby the Dilophosaurus 3D puzzle. And let's check out the back of it. The back of it shows other ones. Uh, it gives you some uh, info over here. Let me zoom in on that so you can read the info on the dino. And then it gives you some of the other dinos that they sell. There's uh, instructions on how to put your dinosaur together. And let's go ahead and open this up. So uh, this one is the Dilophosaurus. So it's a really cool, they're uh, really uh, high quality 3D puzzles. I mean, these are not like low quality puzzles. They are really cool. First of all, it comes with two sets here. So here you have like the full set of pop-outs. So you're gonna go ahead and pop all these pieces out. They pop out. Uh, really nice and easy and then uh, you could go ahead and it has a little piece of sandpaper so you could sand down the edges because it is uh, some of them are a little rough once you pop it out then you pop it out and you look at the instructions sheet here so here is the assembly instructions so uh, each of these you can see has numbers here so you match up the numbers like if you have a number 18 here you find the number 18 here and you put those two pieces together so uh it does take a little bit of uh, time to get used to how it's set up because the pieces themselves are not actually numbered so you have to check back here what piece connects to what piece but when you get it together it's a good high quality set like i said this one is the dilophosaurus and then they also sent me a uh, mo the velociraptor 3d puzzle so let's go ahead and check this one out too and then each each of these uh you could buy in different colored sets too so this one is a bright yellow one as you can see, the available colors here are purple, blue, green, yellow, red, and gray. Uh, here is some info on the Velociraptor. So uh, these are nice, fun uh, 3D puzzles. This would be, you could almost put this together like a family event type thing. So it is really cool. And if you do like it, uh, I got a link below this video where you could buy each of the uh, sets. As you can see there, you have a uh, Pliosaurus, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. You have a uh, Tupuxera, a Spinosaurus. You have a uh, Dilophosaurus, a uh, Dirochosaurus, a Brachiosaurus, and a Pterodactyl. Awesome. And then uh, they do have some uh, new sets they are coming out with in metal. So if you want to check that one out too. Let's go ahead and put these together and check them out.
Guys, these are pretty good size uh, dinosaurs. They're not little tiny ones. Uh, here is the uh, Indominus Rex. You guys seen me uh, use him in videos many times. This is the big Indominus Rex. So you can see the skeletons are almost the size of the Indominus Rex. If you take like this Velociraptor one and put it next to the uh, Indominus Rex, you can see they are almost the same size. So that is really cool. Uh, nice big sculptures, guys. Fun to put together, super secure. It's just that uh, you're probably gonna need an adult to help you put them together because they do uh, go together. Like they're pretty, they're they're hard to fit on, but the, that's a good thing because it makes these dinos super secure. I mean, they're not gonna just fall apart once you shake it. I mean, I just shake this guy and everything and he doesn't just fall apart. So it's a really good uh, model you could use and this guy too. So shake them upside down, everything. They're gonna stay nice and secure. Like I said, if you do like them, uh, check out the link below the video. You could go ahead and purchase them there. Thanks for viewing and being awesome. And then here's the pieces you'll need for the next one. So once again, you're gonna start with this piece here. You're gonna take this quilt piece here, slide it right into there. You've got this other quilt piece here. You're gonna slide this into the other slot. So then it's going to look like this when it's done. Then you're going to take this piece of the leg here, slide it right onto here. This would be like the third claw. Like I said, some of these you get uh, put like quite a bit of force to slide them down. Then you're going to take this piece, put it on to here, and then this piece and plug it right onto there. So that's what your finished uh, leg looks like. And then we're gonna move on to the tail part. So the tail part, uh, just hold it like this and you're gonna go from biggest to smallest here. So you're just gonna take these and just notch them, fit them right into the notches there. then these are the pieces we need to make the head so you're gonna take this piece here this bottom jaw piece here slide it right onto there take the other bottom jaw piece and slide it onto this one here and then you're gonna take the uh, top pieces of the skull there's a notch there you're gonna slide that right onto there then a notch on this one, you're going to slide it right on to there. So there you have the finished head. Okay, then these are our neck pieces. You can see the orientation that we have here. You're going to go from uh, pretty much largest to smallest there. So this one is going to go first. Is the next three pieces you're gonna take this piece here you're gonna take this you're gonna slide it in here so this notch is toward the bottom take this one slide it in here so the notch is toward the bottom okay so once you get that piece you're gonna take this piece of the dyno and slide this notch right on to there and then we're going to take the skull piece we did and slide it right on to here. So this is what we're looking at right now. And then that tail piece we put together earlier, we're going to go ahead and slide that right on to the back there. So it's nicely fused like there. Okay, then we're going to take these three pieces. You've got this piece here got this piece here you're gonna uh, slide this into the notch over there 
you're gonna slide this one into the notch over here so then they're gonna meet here at an angle okay now you're gonna take this piece here and this piece is sort of like your uh, hip bone you're gonna take the leg piece you put together earlier go ahead and slide it right onto there and then you're gonna take the other leg piece you put together and slide it right on to here and then this is what it's gonna look like finished and then you're gonna take this you have three notches here you're gonna slide it right on to the dyno over here you got the arm here you have this slot here you have this slot here you're gonna slide it right onto there and then other side the other arm these arms uh, do look identical so and then there is the finished velociraptor the okay so now let's get started on the dilophosaurus here you've got this piece over here you're gonna take the head pieces which are identical you're gonna slide it on to that end then you're gonna go to the other side and slide on the other piece of the head over here and you got a nice 3d head there okay then you're gonna take this piece oriented like this you're gonna take the head piece you just made this piece here is gonna slide right on to the front there and then you've got like the uh, like the fins that pop out on the side of the Dilophosaurus. You're gonna put this into the first slot you got right there. So then it looks like that there. Okay, and then arrange these pieces like this here. Uh, you can see like the different uh, sizes there. And then you're gonna go from uh, left to right and put it down uh, the Dilophosaurus' spine. So here is its spine. You're gonna take this piece here, put it right into here. This is what we have right now. And then we'll take the two arms which are identical. So then these are gonna fit onto the notches here and here. So you're just gonna go ahead and push those right onto there. And then here's a good look what it looks like when you're finished there. And then you've got these three pieces here. So you're gonna take this piece here you're gonna take this rounded edge here, you're gonna slide it right on to here, all the way forward. And this piece here also, the rounded edge up like that, slide it forward. And then this is what it looks like finished. You want these slots on the bottom, that's gonna be for the legs. And then this is gonna slide right on to your Dilophosaurus skeleton here. And then we're gonna move on to the tail section here. So you got the tail part here. These pieces, these the first three are the same, the second three are the same size, and then the last five are the same size. So with these, you're gonna start with the notches here and work them down. So which are these here. So when you're done, it will look like that. Basically, you're moving from biggest to smallest. Then you're going to go ahead and uh, attach this piece to your Dilophosaurus right there. It's just going to slide right on. And then that's what we have so far. And then we have to get the legs. And then these are the leg pieces we have. They actually gave me four legs. I think I was supposed to have two, but I'm going to put four because there is slots for uh, four. The legs are all identical, so don't worry about that. Once you find it, you just got to orient it correctly. And then you're going to take this piece here and hold it in this orientation. Then take this piece here 
and slide it right on to there. Then you're gonna take this piece here, slide it right onto here. You want the uh, same pieces in the front, the same pieces in the back. So they're gonna come together in almost like a V shape there. And then the legs, like I said, there is four of them, so I wanna use all four. I'll go ahead and plug those into the slots here. And then here I got it put together. It looks almost like a spider now because of the four legs. Then you're gonna take uh, this piece that you have and you're gonna uh, put it right onto your dyno here. These three slots are gonna line right up over there. And there she is all put together. So, I mean, I don't think it's supposed to have four legs, but I think it looks cooler with the four legs. It almost looks like a hybrid between like a spider and a Dilophosaurus. So like I said, so if these, you're interested uh, in buying really this set, nice go ahead your, and uh, click my link down below this video. I will have both of them. It's a look wow, guys, that was a lot of fun. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you click subscribe and the thumbs up button down below the video. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. If you went to the video ends, there's an awesome end card. There's a lot more fun videos. And I will see you soon. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos, and if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.